Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike, and this lesson we're going to talk about base templates and blocks in Hugo. Now, this is a, sort of a more advanced way for you to organize the layouts of your site. And honestly, it's the way that I would recommend um, implementing your layouts. And it's going to use um, list templates, and we're going to use single templates. But we're going to take it a step further and we're going to use another template called the base of template. Now, I could sit here and give you a five minute lecture about what blocks are and what base of templates are. But the easiest way for me to explain this is just to show you. And so the first thing I want to do is just sort of show you my setup. I have this content folder and in here I just have a bunch of um, markdown files, just a bunch of, you know, base content. And I have this theme that I'm using although we're going to be overriding all the layouts and the theme. And so what I want to do is come down here to the layouts folder and I'm going to create a new folder. whoops. And I'm going to create a new folder and we'll just call it underscore default. And inside underscore default, I'm going to make um, a new file. And this is going to be called base of .html. It's very important that you name it exactly like that. Now, this base of file is going to act as the overarching template for our entire Hugo website. And so, um, if you know anything about Hugo templates, you know that we can define a home page template, we can find a list template, and we can define a single template. But the problem is that all of those templates are separate. And so if you want to have the same code for single pages and for list pages, you have to copy and paste the same code between them. The base of template is a higher level template. And so every single page on your website is going to implement from the base of template. And so inside this base of template, I just want to type out a basic HTML layout. And this will be the HTML layout that I'm going to use for every single page of my website. And so here in this base of template, we're going to use a special Hugo entity called a block. So I'm going to type out two open and close curly brackets. And I'm just going to type block and inside quotation marks, I'm just going to type main and then I'm going to type a period right there. Okay, it has to look exactly like this. Otherwise, it might not work. And then after this, I need to put an ending tag. And so basically what this is saying is that the main block is going to get put right here in our template. And you know, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but we're going to see in a second what it does. So inside this default folder, I want to make another file and we're just going to call it single.html. And this is going to be the template that we use for all of our single pages. And up here, I want to define the main block. So I'm going to say define and I'm going to say main just like that. And then over here, I'm going to put an ending tag. And inside of this main block that I'm defining here, I'm just going to type this is the single oops, template. Okay. So this is our single template and I'm defining this main block. And now I want to go back to the default folder and create another new file. And we're going to call this list.html. I'm going to click enter and I'm actually just going to copy this code right into here. So it's going to be the same code, except I'm going to say this is the list template. Okay. So we have this list.html file with this define main tag up here. And we have the same thing for the single file. And then over here in this base of file, we have something that says block main end. Okay. I want to illustrate this a little bit better. So I'm just going to put a little bit of code right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of code down here just so you can kind of see what's happening. And so now what I'm going to do is go over to my website and you'll see here on the home page, we have this layout. And so up here it says top of base of bottom of base of, and right here in the middle, it says, this is the list template. Now, if I go over to one of my content pages, like forward slash a, you'll see we have top of base of bottom of base of and this is single template. Okay. And so hopefully you can see what's happening, right? So in here in this base of .html file, we're basically saying inside of these horizontal rules, we want to insert the main block, right? And over here in our list in our single .html files, we defined that main block. And by laying out our files like this and laying out our templates like this, it makes them a lot more powerful and it makes 
and it allows us to do more things and be more flexible with them. In addition to having a block main, I could also create another block. So we can basically just copy this code and I'll just say like footer, right? So imagine that we wanted to uh, define a block called footer and let's say that inside of here we said this is the default base of footer, okay? And then I'm also just gonna add a break right there. So we save this file, when we go over here, you can see we have, okay, this is the single template, but then we also have, this is the default base of footer. So even on this single page, we're still using this default base of footer. But what's cool about blocks is that if I want to, I can come into this single.html file and I'm just gonna copy this code, but instead of defining main, I can define footer. And so I can essentially override the default base of footer and I can say, this is the single footer. And so now when we head over to our website, you'll see that instead of using that default base of footer, we're now using this single footer. But if I go back to the home page, so if I go to one of my list pages, you'll see that it's using this base of footer. And so what's cool about these blocks is that I can decide whether or not I wanna override one of the default elements on the page in a specific template. And that's one of the reasons that blocks are so powerful and why they can be such a great tool for us in Hugo. So, you know, really the possibilities with blocks are endless and I would definitely recommend setting up your website to use blocks. It just makes your templates a lot more powerful and it makes your layout more modular and more powerful. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.